What's good, man? Uh, man, it's been a year. That shit flew by fast. Yeah, it was too long. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, now with the with your last fight, man, let's uh let's jump into it right away. You know your okay, debut okay. in Bellator. Talk about that fight, man. Uh, you made your debut one year ago, last December. You got the unanimous decision. Take us through that performance. You know what you thought about it. You know what you did not like about it. Um. So we last talked, I think Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, Thanksgiving in Hawaii, and then you know, at the like I like I explained, um, everything was going well. In, I felt injury free, and then a couple of days, or I think maybe a week, or sometime between then and when I fought, um, my other shoulder gave me some, gave me like a little, I it, I tweaked it or whatnot in practice. And but it didn't, I it didn't blow past. It, it just blew past me, just because you know I'm fighting in a couple of weeks, you know, and I've dealt this dealt with this before. So you know, I kind of just, we well, know what we're gonna get through it, whatever. And um, and it's just something that I dealt with for a while. Both shoulders were bad, were bad, but then my left shoulder was, um, like shoulder reconstruction, and then my right shoulder, you know, I kind of tweaked it uh, weeks leading up to the fight, and then, um. You know, just praise God, I got through got through it. Um, the fight, fight night. Um, I kind of i I've seen i seen um, Shojin fight a few times, and I just thought I would be like more superior on the on the mat. It's not necessarily what I wanted to do during the whole fight. Is you know just get him to the ground, but I just had I just had to get him to the ground just just from you know what what was oh, my shoulder was. Yeah, I think after like the first takedown on the ground, and then. Um, that first round, I was on top of him. I think majority of the time, and my shoulder. I tried. To, I tried. To, I took his back, and I noticed that my my shoulder was stuck, and then, so I couldn't like grab wrist or anything or start punching. So I was like, my shoulder was like, you know, my body was in a weird position to where like I knew like you know what, this is all too familiar. So from then on, from there on, like I couldn't really um, exchange or. Just do the things that I wanted to in the fight, and then I just started having to, you know, react on instinct from what I've done like my whole life, and that's wrestle. So, I mean, that's not what I wanted, but you know, I had to get what get it done with just having hold of him, getting him down to the ground, and get out of there safely. So, from that point on, I had to um, I had to fix my labor on my right shoulder. Um, I actually wanted. I actually left for. The PFL, the championship with um, with my cousin Ray, so I think it was in five days. So I couldn't even get an MRI within those f- five days, um, and so I didn't get surgery till like mid January because we came back January first. Had to get my MRI, and then got the surgery. Yeah, I think mid mid or like th- ending of January, and then so f- from that point on, um, I heal. I was healing up. Well, while I had that, I was healing up from that surgery. I also had another surgery. I had PRK on my eyes, mm-hmm. so I mean it's a blessing. I, now I can finally say, you know, um, crossing my fingers and you know, knock on wood. But this this whole year, I've actually trained injury free, not worrying about mm-hmm. sparring with contacts, not worrying on my shoulders or anything. So it's, it's been a good year. I mean, it hasn't been a good year financially, but it's been a good year health wise. Having an injury like that, and then going going through all of that, and then getting the win, you know, the unanimous decision. Um, mentally, did it help you out more? You know, did it advance you on the mental side of like, hey, I could push through, you know, some major adversity, you know, especially starting from the beginning of the fight. Yeah, um, I mean, I think was it two years prior, I fought PXC, and my shoulder. Uh, my left shoulder did the exact same thing. Came out like I would say maybe six, seven times in that fight, and I fought the whole fifteen minutes, and I actually thought I won the fight. It was, but I, there was I was in more losing positions in that fight, but I, I I still thought I won that fight. I mean, I fought a hometown guy or whatever, but I so I at that point I I had a fight before I had a, I had a fight before that that kind of gave me that that I knew I could get get through it. I mean. Or at least I knew positions I had to get through to where I'd be fine. I mean, 
it wasn't crowd pleasing at all. But I just had to, you know, stay safe, you know, not get hit and yeah. just get through it. You got to, man. You got to because you got to build that momentum, man, because you had, that, yeah. you know, you had back to back wins. Now you got three in a row. You have something you can say to somebody, try to do a, some matchmaking for you. You got to say, hey, man, I need somebody that's, you know, can uh, can attract some attention. Now, you know, yeah. you get you get the soldier, shoulder surgery, you get your eye fixed. You know, how long until you get actually back into training? Like, was it in the summer or when was it? Yeah, I think it was um, well late. I mean, I, I was running. I think the doctor said I could. Um, I forget how, how long I said. He said, I think almost two months to where I could start running and stuff. So I was just running for about six weeks to where I was actually running running pretty hard and then i think um i think yeah right in right in may and june i started picking it up and then and then from there i mean i, I would like to have come back sooner than this december but i mean we and we we tried just things weren't lining up i wasn't feeling um i i mean at the same time you know i, I as much as i wanted to get back in it's kind of a blessing that i just you know I let it sit back because, yeah, I mean, shoot, you out, you're out. I was out for one whole year. Then I fight three times and then I'm out again. I, so at that same, I'm like, oh, I gotta get, I can't, I don't, I hate being in this spot. So I'm like, shoot, I gotta get back in. I gotta get back in. But then I was like, you know what? Um, let, let my body fully heal. There was, we, I think there was a time, I think it was in June. I was supposed to, I, I was gonna take a, th- a fight like on three weeks' notice in Titan. And it was just like, ah, you know, my first fight, it just, it, uh, we had some stuff that we're trying to, you know, heal up on. And so we didn't rush back into it. And then, you know, things were just, we have last minute calls. But then, you know, it just wasn't, just wasn't lining up um, in our favor. So, but I think now, now is the right time. Throughout that time, I know you've been part of uh, your cousin's camps. So you've been training yeah. hard. You know, you mentioned yeah. the running part. Do you enjoy that running part? Is that the first time you've ever done that hard running, or have you always been a runner? Um, shoot, honestly, I, I've I've always been a runner, but I've I've I I made me for for that time when I'm just running, then I'm watching the drilling and I'm watching all the sparring. You know, I I, I became not not love running. Or nobody loves running, but <laughs> I I started to grow. I started to grow into that feeling, like. You know, you see, I got past the hate of hate of running, running, running hard. I mean, my body type, I'm, I'm athletic. I played a lot of sports growing up. So, I mean, I'm, a, I'm more of a sprinter than a, like, you know, just for somebody that can do miles. But I, I've got to the point to where I can do both. I'll run miles and then I'll run. Then I will do sprints. So, but yeah, it, it, was, it was rough. It was that it was definitely rough. I mean. I'm ha- I'm happy that you know we're what I think a month away from weigh uh, weigh-ins, four weeks from weigh-ins. Mm-hmm. I'm happy we're at this point, but oh, it, it it was rough. I mean, the whole everything you can think of, you know, I'm just injury itself, healing from that, and then not bringing any money in for my family. Um, so, and just having the itch to get back in, you know, I'm going to. I'm traveling across the country every maybe six weeks, going to a um, bunch of PFLs and a couple of other fights, and, and I'm still, you know, I was like, oh my, I gotta get. I, and I, so I, the whole time, while I'm helping my uh, my cousins get ready for their different fights, I'm I'm not breaking any. I don't even take a week off. I mean, I take a week off of like the the hard training, but I don't take a week off of running or at least moving around when when they take a week off between the after their fights because I'm at the I'm in a position where I don't even know if I'm I might get a call you know it's just part of the game you might get a call tomorrow to fight next week so I'm 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 not sure I can't stop I I might get called you know like somebody's gonna call and if somebody would call and it was kind of too too you know it was just too quick or just things weren't things weren't lining up so but yeah it was it was it was frustrating yeah man i could only imagine you know but one positive note is that you're still young man it's not like yeah you're like that's, that's 35 that's or something like that this. which is a totally different story yeah that's the part i had to just sit back you know you know i'm young you know 
things aren't just going the way I want them to want them to, but but you know they're getting better. So yeah. don't no need to rush if if I don't have to. Well, you've been going to the PFLs like you said, and and I noticed that uh, your cousins they fought each other. Yeah. Like you know, were you stuck in the middle of that? You know, because they only show like Zane and and Ray their sides. But mm-hmm. what what was your position on that? Were was there someone at fault in that fight, or was it just like they're they're gonna fight? You know, cousins fight sometimes. I mean, true. I mean, me me and Ray were we I mean, were real tight. We did we've done everything together from a small age. I mean, we've been around each other from a small age. I mean, um, I mean, we're immediate family. Our 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 my dad and his mom and brother sister. Uh, it's not the same for us and Zane. I mean, we share the last name. Our grandpas are are um, brothers, so it's it's just it's just different. And you know, we so I wasn't really stuck in the middle. I mean, yeah, like people. I guess we're all stuck in the middle when we see we see like other um, local the local MMA scene. They all think we're one. Like, I mean, yeah, we're all one. We're all one family. But it's just it's not the same. You know, I mean, it was it wasn't really the same. It's not. We don't share like the holidays. I mean, together. So I mean, and yeah, we, it it was it was it was it was it was definitely weird, but um, it it's just like it wasn't from the like I guess I I'm more in the middle, but I'm more towards leaning to Ray. You know, I see him every like almost every day. Um, we've done everything together. So I mean, it was a little less um to where i was stuck in the middle I, i'm guess I, i'm way more leaning towards race side on that but it, i mean yeah, i'm yeah. glad glad we're past it now because it was it, it was kind of funky here in hawaii yeah. as far as even the them may seen or even how even our family so but we're, we're past it now that's good man that's good to hear man you yeah. don't want that stuff to like be spilling out towards you know yeah, to other yeah. parts of the family and stuff like that no it it definitely was so it's kind of weird like <laughs> it was getting it was getting to that to where it was moving up generations to uh-huh. where it was becoming a conflict so mm-hmm. no but yeah it's a glad we're past it now definitely or at well. least i don't know if we're past it but i'm glad that the fight happened so it, that kind of dust that settled you know yeah 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 for sure man now um you make your return in hawaii again and uh you're taking on spencer higa at Bellator 236. But see, mm-hmm. are you returning at featherweight this time? This is actually my first fight at featherweight. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess I'm returning at featherweight. So, why did you decide, like, I'm going to come back at featherweight? Was the cuts too too harsh or was it just, the, I mean, just the fight that offered? One, it was one of the fights or it was, yeah, one of the few names that they offered. And, we, I mean, I accepted all the names, but then this is the one that I guess the one, the first one that went through all the way, and then um, yeah, I just I was I don't know I'm just trying to think from a from an injury standpoint I've cut I've made this weight since uh, my senior year in high school, and then I dropped the weight in college. I wrestled at 133 in college, and from from that point on, from college till now, I've had like lots of I mean lots of injuries, so. I'm just trying to eliminate eliminate that factor, you know. I'll I can make 135. Let's 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 just see how I do cutting a little less weight and feel feel a lot better training and el- eliminate the injuries. You know, I mean, yeah, 135. I mean, it's I've made it before. Obviously, I've never missed the weight, but you know, this camp maybe is or it is a lot more enjoyable. I'm cutting the I'm. I'm I'm around this. What is? It? I used to cut to 135. I like from like 168, mm-hmm. and same thing. Not same thing now. Maybe I'm, a few, I'm cutting the same amount of weight, or um, maybe a few more, few more pounds. I'm a few more pounds heavier from 168 now from what I started at, and then it's just that um, I think my body just built for 145, mm-hmm. or at least it feels like it. So I mean, we gotta see, but if it feels like it, I feel a lot better. I can give a lot more productive practices. Um, yeah, no, I just wake up, wake up feeling better. I don't feel so. You just have that groggy feeling when you wake up when when it gets closer, and it just like it doesn't make practices enjoyable. <laughs> 
Well, it, it looks like in uh in Bellator, all the big opportunities are at 145. 145. You know, all the big fights. The bantamweight division is not as deep. Featherweight division is crazy right now. Like yeah, for or at least, at least, yeah, we, they they push a lot mm-hmm. at the 145 division. So that, that I mean, that's a big upside. Yeah, 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 for sure, man. Well, a big upside is you're not feeling groggy. You can train it really hard. You know, you yeah. have to worry about the extra pounds, and then yeah, like you, like, like I you would said, just have to worry about getting to one fifty before I even worry about getting to one thirty five, and that 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 was a that was a strong. I mean, and that's one sixty eight is like training, mm-hmm. like so. It, it's it's it was it's definitely rough every time, yeah. and I just I just feel like putting my body at that. Um, I just I would be putting my body at disadvantage to where. Um, I'd be doing uncharacteristic things and getting hurt, you know. Um, I don't feel so well, so I'm, I'm like, um, holding on to things, damaging my shoulders. And that's just that's just the part that I, I'm thinking about right now. Your body is healthy. You are not you don't have to worry about cutting that extra weight. So when you go train, you're not going to do those uncharacteristic unchar- movements where they kind of yeah. risk you to get an injury, which is all good, man. It's, it's working out. You're going to head into this yeah. fight. Uh, you know healthy as basically like you are you healthy as ever you know what i mean like your body feels yeah the i would best like to i been. would like to say so i mean it's kind of what cliche to say like oh yeah it's the best camp ever yeah, i feel the best but i mean i really do i like i don't have to train with like freaking contacts you know <laughs> like i i can um yeah it's just i don't have to worry about my eyes drying up and then my contact falling out or or I won't shoot. I won't shoot this type of takedown because I'm gonna get hurt. Or I can't get into a scramble because my shoulder might um sublux or come out. You know, mm-hmm. and it's not. It's just not. I don't have those things in the back of my mind when I train. I can, I can train to get better, not not train to not get hurt. Your opponent, <laughs> so, man. Uh, he got, He he's a guy that I think he's fought in Hawaii before. Is, is he a guy that you've seen around the scene? Yeah, I see, I've seen him um, a few times. What do you think of him? Like, what do you think of him as an opponent? You know, the type of fight he brings. He he's gonna bring a pretty well rounded fight. Uh, I think he's Christian Lee, one of Christian Lee's main training partners. So I mean, I expect him to be like like Christian Lee. You know, he trains with one of the best in the world. Um, he's fought tough guys, and um, I I don't know. I just think um, he's he, he's gonna be a really good fight, and especially from our first fight at one forty five. Um, he, I expect him to be well-rounded everywhere. Be, be f- what uh, everything Christian Lee um, is. I mean, that's he, he's he's gotta see him every day at practice. So I mean, I gotta expect um, he's getting he's getting world-class training. So I gotta expect him to be getting better every day. What do you expect to get out from get from this fight? You know, I know you expect to go in there and dominate like you normally do. Uh, but mm-hmm. do you think? Do you believe you need to? To be able to finish this guy to kind of in you know enter 2020 with you know some momentum because you kind of let's say when you you're off for a year you you lose that little bit of momentum but getting a finish yeah. it, it kicks it right back in so entering that 2020 do you think you need that for yourself yeah i mean i would like to um it's been a while since i had finishes just just because of you know the i think my body wouldn't allow me to uh it was i mean it wouldn't allow me to i, I would have to oh, okay i i Things you know, my body's not feeling it, so I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hold this one out, or I gotta, I just, or I come back from a fight or a, a surgery, and I'm kind of like real timid to, or like I don't know if my shoulder's gonna hold up. So, um, but I have, I've, I've gotten those rounds in, I got, I've gotten, um, those minutes in, I've gotten the all, all the extra or all the conditioning into, or like I don't, I feel like I'm not gonna be second guessing myself on anything, you know. Oh, did I train hard enough? Because I, I, I don't know. My last fight was a year ago. Did I did I run enough? My my last fight was a year ago. You know, like I I know I'm in shape because I'm giving I'm I've been doing I've been doing everything right and um you know I just I feel like I feel like it's a it's a good time. I think I'm actually I think I'm at my best and um yeah I don't know I mean I train with the best every day so I think I can, I can it's my turn to go out and show it. I mean shoot. Um, I think we've lost the one. We um, my team lost like one fight this year to John Howard, but I mean, that was 
that's one fight. And I think we, we were winning that fight. And I just want to, you know, I want to show, show the hard work that I've been putting in on my team. Yeah, Ray, he's, uh, he's in training camp with you right now. Yeah. Are you ready for that million dollars the second time around? What's different mm-hmm. about, is Ray any different this time around? Because, you know, that million dollars makes a, it changes your life, man. Yeah, I mean, Ray, I think he just, he, he's grown over the past, the past year um, from that last, um, the last championship fight against um, Magomed, the Russian. I think he's just grown to, you know, um, sometimes the fight doesn't go the way we planned and, you know, Eventually, eventually, the knockout will come if you just you, you stick to you know you don't ha- um, you don't force anything. And I think he's he has that in his mind now that um, at, any, at any point he can knock anybody out. You just gotta stay composed and fight. Um, not every not not force anything. Um, I mean that's uh, I think that's we 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 we've talked and I think that's kind of what what. Um, that's kind of what the problem was, you know, forcing forcing things that were, that's not there. But he's he's been, he or he yeah he showed a lot better composure. I mean, if you've seen that Chris Curtis fight, yeah. and, and then he had that first um, Sadabu fight. Um, he he had a good warm up in that first fight, and then just let everything play out, and I think things worked out well. Or he's back at the championship again. You guys both got big fights coming up. Your fight happens uh, December twenty uh, first in Bellator, Hawaii, man, in your hometown. You can wake up in yeah. your bed and uh, go to the arena and and put in that work, man. Kai, man, always yeah. good talking to you, man. I'm glad that thank you're you, thank back you. to a hundred percent. You know, and uh, you don't have to worry about those contacts. I think those contacts make a big difference, man. When you oh have to wear God. those things, that they probably yeah. just they they probably just make you angry sometimes. They they it it, it would. It, it pissed me off. <laughs> no, I mean, man. I've been wearing that since like seven grades, so, and it's been a blessing. Like I haven't worn it. I have, yeah. I mean, I have perfect. I don't. I think I have perfect vision now, but like I don't. At least for training, I don't have to worry about that. I can see. I can see. I can see fine. Guys would be like, "How how, how can you? Oh, what what is this? Read this." And then I, I couldn't. I couldn't read. It and like what? And then now they're like, "Oh, read this," and then trip out that I can see now. You know, it, <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Me and my wife would be driving home, like from, from, um, from wherever, and it's dark. And she, like, oh, what does that say? And I, I'll read it. And she'd be like, what? You can actually read that now? Like she's tripping all that I can see. Yeah, man. Well, so uh, all of that, man, is gonna, you know, accumulate and and it's gonna help you. You know, it is. It's yeah. helped you throughout the last few months. It's gonna help you in the fight, man. Uh, always good, man. I appreciate you for the time. Yeah, always good and, talking uh, to you. Yeah, good luck on the fight, man. And uh, and and right. Right after that, you get to enjoy the holidays. What's better than that? Man? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I have. I think I, I we leave Christmas Day for New York, so New Year's Eve in uh, in New York again. <laughs>